Here I'm the farmer. Yes. I love working on the farm. Yeah. Working on the farm is extremely fulfilling, first of all. We do so much hard work, building fences, growing vegetables, tilling soil, uh, cleaning up from the animals and, and keeping them safe and, and healthy. And we get to see all of the uh, fruits of our labor. It's so tremendous to be able to work hard and then be able to see a new garden growing and to be able to harvest vegetables and feed them to camp, to be able to make our, our food systems more sustainable. So we have main, two main categories on the farm. We've got our animals, our chayot. We have alpacas, goats, izim, uh, tarnagolot, and one duck. And we also have a garden. Uh, on the agriculture side of things, we have two gardens one of which grows beans and peas and cucumbers, kale, collard greens, lettuce, beets, radishes, some herbs, dill, parsley, um, a lot a lot of beautiful vegetables that did really well this year. Uh, we've eaten some in the Khadar Ocha with our salad. Um, we've had a few times where the salad was only greens from the Chava. And we had radishes in the salad, and mustard greens, and dill, uh, and various dishes with the fish, um, some other dishes on Shabbat. We use chicken eggs, uh, first of all, in our parak. Sometimes we'll make some uh, chavitot, some omelets, with chicken eggs and with our, our vegetables and our herbs. Uh, and also, outdoor cooking uses it. Bishul uses some of our eggs to cook omelets sometimes and other sorts of uh, dishes. We don't use them in the whole ocha, um, just because we don't have enough of a quantity. But so we use the chicken eggs. We use our goat milk um, all the time. Make cheese, um, pasteurize the milk, drink it, have it with cereal, put it in coffee. That happens pretty often. Usually around once a week we pasteurize. A very small percentage of the chalutzim who come here have milked before and and know what it's like for milk to come out of either a goat or a cow. So it's a very special experience to know it's something I eat almost every day. How does that happen? What's that process look like? On average day I wake up around 6, come over down to the farm, hopefully meet up with a group of chalutzim and milk our izim, our goats. Usually with Solim we have a curriculum that goes from seeding to harvesting, including bed making, putting in compost, planting, uh, doing some weeding. With the other adults, uh, we have some really fun animal activities, cleaning up the poop, taking them out on leashes, getting them food, uh, herding, herding animals. We have other activities nowadays where uh, we're harvesting. We just finished our harvest yesterday, and we're starting to turn over all the beds to make um, some cover crop that's going to stay over the winter to replenish the soil. But I had a really beautiful conversation yesterday with some colored seam. And they were all talking about how amazing it is and how much fun it is to be able to harvest and how fresh it is to eat these veggies right off the, off the vine, right off, uh, off the plants. And while we were walking back, they were all talking about how they want to start a garden, they want to start gardening at home, and it's so easy but so also fulfilling and it's, it's a cool process to be a part of. A conversation like that is obviously so meaningful, and I think those conversations happen uh, all the time from people who come to the Chava and, and then head back with friends and say, hey, this is actually a really cool process. Uh, I want to take this home with me and I want to I wanna participate in sustaining my life. I can make a difference in this world.